In this video, you're going to learn how to migrate your notes from Notion to Roam as efficiently as possible. When I first discovered Roam, I immediately fell in love with the tool, but I had a big problem. I had over 2,500 notes between my Evernote and my Notion, and I'd already started building up a knowledge wiki in Notion, and the idea of having to migrate all of that into a new tool was completely daunting. Maybe you're in the same situation. You're curious about Realm and you want to start using it, but you have a huge knowledge base built up in Notion that you really don't want to migrate over. Well, don't worry. In this video, we're going to go over a really efficient way to migrate that knowledge so that you have everything you need at your fingertips in Realm while knowing where to get anything that hasn't been migrated yet in the future. And if you want to go deeper on learning Roam, make sure you check out Effortless Output in Roam, where over 3,000 students have already learned how to get the most out of the all-in-one tool for knowledge work. Now, before we dive into the methodology, I want to go over what I call the efficient migration philosophy. And essentially what it is, is you don't migrate everything at once because that's going to take hours. It could be thousands of notes. It's going to be a huge waste of time. It's going to create a lot of barriers to entry to getting started with Rome. Instead, we want to migrate over the highest value information to immediately get value from the new tool while making sure that you know exactly where to find everything that's still in your Notion database should you need it in the future. All right, let's dive into the methodology. The goal of this migration is to quickly bring a lot of value into your Roam database so that you're immediately getting value from your previous notes in the new tool, but you don't have to spend a ton of time moving everything over. So I want you to pick a really high residence notebook, a notebook that you know you really value the notes in, that has a lot of like importance to you and that you really wanna make sure you have in your database. For me, I'm gonna pick this philosophy. Uh, series of notes uh, in my Notion database because uh, I really like a lot of these notes. They're really valuable to me and I want to make sure that I get them into my Roam database. As we migrate the notes, we're going to follow three steps. Number one, making the note in Roam. Number two, copying all of the contents over. And then three, adding all of the relevant tags and metadata. So let me show you how I do that on a couple of these. So we'll first take this article, Rick and Morty and the Meaning of Life by Daniel Jeffries. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of the text here. And then I'll go into my Roam and I'm going to hit Command U to bring this up and type Rick and Morty and the Meaning of Life. Hit New Page and then I will paste those contents in. Now, in order to get the, uh, the most out of this in my database, I'm gonna add some metadata. And if you've taken the course Effortless Output, uh, I cover how to do this in there, but you can also get my public metadata if you haven't taken the course, and I'll put the link down below. I'm gonna use a text expander to add my article metadata, XRMA, and then I'm gonna fill this out. So copy the URL, and then we can actually go to the URL and see Okay, Daniel Jeffries. Recommended by, I'm gonna delete for now. And then we can add some tags like philosophy, Rick and Morty, meaning of life, a few things like that. All right, and then I could go through here and I could see if there's anything else that I wanna link. Uh, this paragraph here is related to the Bhagavad Gita, so I'm gonna add that. And okay, so this one's done. Uh, now I can go back to Notion and I might add a tag here like roamed so that when I'm looking at this database uh, later, I know what I've actually transferred and what I haven't. I could add a filter that says, you know, add a filter where uh, tags does not contain roamed and then it would hide those for me. But now I can start going through this and copying some of the other ones over. So I'm going to go ahead and do that since I assume you don't want to watch me just do that same thing over and over again. Uh, and then I'll show you what it's going to look like in the Realm database. Now we can see what we've made. By migrating all of those notes over and starting to tag them with everything they're related to in your database, we've started to create this knowledge graph in Rome from all of the notes we had before. So as you can see, I'm on the philosophy page and you can see a bunch of those notes that we were looking at before. They're all now here. They have the philosophy tag, which means I can easily find them. I can also start to look at how some of these pages relate to each other. So obviously these are all related to philosophy, but I could go into one of these things that I had pulled in before, like how to be a precious snowflake. 
and see all the other things it's related to, like narcissism, millennials, philosophy. I could check on the millennials tag, right? And there's, uh, you can kind of start to explore your database like this. I could also start to filter by anything that I pulled in that fits multiple categories I'm interested in. So these all have the philosophy tag, obviously, but I could also see what also has the happiness tag. So philosophy and happiness. And if I wanted to write an article or something about, you know, how to be happier, I could pull on ideas from these articles about philosophy and happiness. So now you're starting to see how just migrating the notes in and tagging them gets you a lot more utility out of them because you can find them in multiple places. They're not locked into one, you know, list, database, whatever. You can explore, organize them, and you can start turning them into head pages of master information, uh, which is something I cover in the Effortless Output course. But basically pulling out ideas into this head page of philosophy to make like a master guide to say philosophy of happiness or things like that. But what about all of the notes that we didn't migrate? Well, what I'm gonna actually recommend is, again, don't migrate everything right now. What we're gonna do instead is for every collection of pages that you haven't migrated yet, we're gonna go and we're going to leave reminders to ourselves to migrate them over in the future. So for example, I have a lot of notes uh, on photography in my old note-taking system, and I don't wanna migrate those over right now because I'm not actively working on doing any photography. So instead, I'm gonna to go to the photography page and if I don't already have it, I'll just make it. And now on here, I'm going to make a task with command enter to say migrate old notes on photography. Now what this does is it tells me that if I'm looking for notes on photography in the future, I haven't migrated them yet. So I need to go back into wherever they are, whether it's Evernote, Notion, whatnot, and move them into my Rome database. This way, I'm making sure that uh, I don't lose those notes, that I know where to find them in the future, but I'm not wasting time migrating information that I don't need right now, or that isn't super high value to me right now. I might never migrate these notes, but uh, if I do want to in the future, now I have this reminder that I haven't brought everything over into Rome. So this is the best way to make sure that you migrate over really important information now, but also are reminded to migrate over everything else in the future. So you can go ahead and do this for any notes you have in your old tool that you wanna make sure you bring over in the future if you ever need them. I hope that helps you migrate your notes from your old tool into Realm. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you liked this video and hit subscribe because I'll be doing a bunch more videos on getting the most out of Realm in the future. Also, if you haven't checked them out yet, I have a couple other videos that I should be linking here somewhere that are about uh, how to write an article in Rome and how to use Rome for journaling and morning pages. And those might be really valuable to you as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.